Hey, Python! Hey, Python! Breakfast to order.
pictured uh, burying the uh, royal family and marriage and everything. So I've been married. You want a picture of it? I can stop. The address or like just a uh, identification? No. Yeah, it's it's a big for the World Trade Center, yeah, World World's Fair. Uh, World Fair. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what year? Late 1960. Yeah.
Friedman. Good evening, best friends from America, from the John Philip Sosa Collegiate Management. Welcome again. In one day, you are already our dearest friends. We like it very much that you are here, and we will, we are excited to hear you play. I hope that you not so responded to us as we for an entree. We have today al a very fun day with you, and we are very excited what it's going to be. Uh, Randy Mieler will begin as first dirigent and he will you further this evening help. I have two practical things, and that is that you two sorts of bonnets can buy, blue and white for the drink, and the green are for the eating. One euro and five euro. The eating is after the second concert. Wordt er na als de harmonie gedaan is, dan staat er een frituurwagen voor u klaar. We hebben allemaal een hele fijne avond. Helaas in een warme zaal, er was geen airco meer aanwezig. Maar ik wens u allemaal veel luisterplezier met onze Amerikaanse vrienden. We have one final tune that I'm conducting, and it is uh, entitled Bugler's Holiday, performed uh, by our very own trumpet extraordinaire. Trumpets?
I'd like to introduce the incomparable Malcolm Coppy and much loved founder of the Women Band Directors International Association, Ms. Gladys Rice.
Als u ze hoort spelen, kunt u dan geloven dat ze afgelopen maandag voor de eerste keer bij elkaar zijn gekomen. Dit zijn studenten van over heel Amerika en zij zijn nog uitgekozen om in deze band te mogen spelen. En afgelopen maandag zijn ze voor de eerste keer dus met de repetitie begonnen. En dit was dus eigenlijk hun tweede concert, want ze hebben in Boston hebben ze ook nog een concert gegeven. En ze gaan nu door heel Europa door en morgen gaan ze via Marktraten naar Bonn. Dan gaan ze naar Innsbruck, Salzburg, nog een beetje Italië, je kunt het allemaal lezen. En in totaal gaan ze dus tien concerten geven. Dus ze zijn nog twee weken hier. Voor degene die nog zoveel van hun genoten heeft, zou ik zeggen, kom over twee weken naar Parijs. En dan kunnen ze allemaal gaan uitzwaaien. Want Miss Gladys Wright zegt wel van, uh, we zijn vrienden. Maar ik vind het meer als vrienden. Ik vind het een hele gezellige familie geworden. Congratulations. Yes. Last night, last night I said to you, the temperature will high because we want to give you a warm welcome. I don't have any, everything in my. Uh, possibility to make it uh, rainy, but to, uh, this afternoon there was a little bit rain, and this evening there will be more rain. And I don't know if you know why, we are sad that you will leave us. <laughs> but first of all, you would leave us tomorrow morning at 7.30. And I have the good news, it's 8.15. So, dus morgen avond, of morgen vroeg, sorry. Morgen vroeg om kwart over acht, worden de gasten weer terugverwacht aan onze harmoniezaal. Voor degenen die dan zin hebben, kunnen dan even een half uurtje mee rijden naar Margraten, naar het Amerikaans Kerkhof, waar Tom Reynolds en de Trumpet Group wil uh, een bode brengen aan de gestorven, aan de gevallen militairen van de Tweede Wereldoorlog op het Amerikaans Kerk. At least I want to thank you again. And I like Mr. Reynolds, Mr. Wright and uh, Mr. Wheeler to come to the front. I give you a little present. Present. <laughs> present. <laughs> Some things from Switzerland and from our band. Tot slot zou ik ook nog graag Cindy naar voren willen roepen. Want dankzij Lou en Cindy hebben wij de contacten gekregen met deze geweldige groep. Pauze hebben om even alles op te bouwen, zodat daarna de harmonie ook nog een half uurtje drie kwartier kan spelen. Dus ik zou zeggen, drink u nog wat, het is warm genoeg ervoor en tot over tien minuten. Thank you. 
Good drive. <laughs> there are years where you were hoping you would. Went there. Went there. I will say that you did a great job picking up after yourself last night with getting your tux jackets and your music stands uh, because Miss P went back over to the, the band hall uh, this morning and she found nothing. And when I left at a, around 10 o'clock, there was a lot of stuff there, so I'm very pleased that you remember to go get your stuff. Um, after the Second uh, World War, uh, the Americans had to look for a cemetery for ground, for soil, where they could bury our soldiers, your soldiers. And uh, the reason why they found the go-to Margaret, it was uh, the only town where they could find someone who spoke English. So that's the reason why it's in Margaret. They buried there more than 18,000 soldiers and a few thousand German soldiers. And after a few years, they uh, reburied them again. And some of the soldiers are brought back to America. And the German ones are brought back to another cemetery in Holland. And now there are approximately 8,000 uh, soldiers bur buried there. It was for the people from Margaret. Uh, it was uh, it was so nice to know that a country so far away um, had had so sent so many soldiers to free us. That they said we need to do something for those soldiers because they are so far away from their families that they decided in 1945 direct after the World War, that they adopted the graves. And that makes this cemetery very unique. So all the citizens of Margaret and, and their children, they adopted everyone a grave to make sure that on Memorial Day and other uh, days, there are flowers on the graves. So that's very, very unique. That's also the reason why five years ago uh, President Bush came over to Margaret because, yeah, because of that reason. And uh, my children, for example, they have also uh, adopted a grave. And so we go several times a year to bring their flowers. And uh, if you walk around uh, through the uh, at the graves, uh, you see that a lot of people are not young, of our, the ages 18, 19 years, 20 years. So we, you can't imagine uh, that uh, someone comes over to, uh, to give freedom for you at that age. So that's the reason why we love your Americans so much. Thank you again. You're back in America. So now, now you are all back in America. This is American uh, soil. Now we are a foreign country. In the foreign country.